Hey everybody, it's Carl. Welcome back to the bathroom. It's time for a shave. I am going back to work tomorrow. Two days of growth. Got to uh, get silky smooth or my bosses will be grumpy. Actually, probably not because it's the holiday weekend, so no one's going to be around. But anyway, got to keep with the policy and I want to shave. So I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. Uh, I am doing a uh, November shave and a neglected November shave as per my uh, themes and the themes in the uh, Facebook groups I'm part of. And so tonight, I'm also doing a shave that was inspired by a few of the lads in the Shavette World group. Uh, Marcus Senior, Tim White, and David Card. Excellent shavers, good guys. I'm happy to have gotten to know them, virtually anyway. Uh, so what are we using? Well, we're going to be using the uh, Classic Samurai Chevette Team Silver Edition. I've got a half of a uh, standard black Wilkinson sword blade in there. I don't know like what model that is, if it's stainless or super stainless, it just says Wilkinson sword. For the November part of the shave was that blade, and we're going to be using the Old Spice Original Cream. Uh, imported from India. Uh, for the neglected, we'll be using the Old Spice Aftershave. And I've already been working up a little bit of a lather, the Son of a Sailor Boar Brush. And I've got a little bit of a lather going in the uh, Crown King Scuttle. And um, fresh out of the shower, I had a head shave with the Head, head Blade ATX. And uh, we're going to get this shave going. Um, so, if you guys watch Ronnie Gear uh, on Facebook, or not Facebook, on YouTube, he uh, mentioned about how I always rinse the the razor in the tap after every use. And, uh, you know, we were talk, just kind of mentioning, you know, water conservation and, and this, that, and the other. And, you know, I, I used to do that, you know, fill the sink and rinse it. But then I got to thinking, that's kind of nasty. In my opinion, it's like taking a bath. Like, I don't like taking a bath or sitting in a hot tub or anything like that because you're kind of festering in your own juices. And uh, I kind of see it the same way with filling the tap, filling the sink, and then rinsing the razor uh, in between passes. It just kind of doesn't seem very sanitary to me. That's just my opinion. So, um, but, so what I'm going to do for this shave is I'm going to start with an empty sink. I'm going to close the plunger, and I actually wasted, I missed a little bit there, so, you know, maybe a tablespoon or so. But, uh, we're going to see how much water I end up with during the course of a shave in the sink. Um, I don't know how much it'll be, and uh, if it turns out to be that I'm wasting a ton of water, then I may change my ways. You know, and it's always, it's a good thought. I mean, I, I definitely know where he's, I know where he's coming from with, you know, with that. And there are a lot of good ways to conserve water. And we do have to be smart with our resources. So, uh, no offense. I didn't feel attacked or anything crazy like that. So, um, he's got a good point. So, that's why I'm doing this little experiment, right? So first off, this is the first use of this cream. I've used the musk uh, shave cream from Old Spice from India, and I had problems with it dissipating. This one seems like I may be having the same problem, but I mean, look at that lather. It's it's thick. Let's see if I add a little bit of water to it. It's a super thick, creamy scent. It doesn't particularly smell like the Old Spice aftershave. I've heard some people say it smells more like the classic, I was it Schulten formula. I don't get much of it at all, but then again, my nose is not the best. It smells vaguely similar to Old Spice, but I think if you used them, if you put them side by side, I, I, I don't believe they're the same. 
But they do have a few similar notes, I guess. All right, so let's see how this goes. Hope everybody's doing well and having good shaves. And uh, hope you had a good week. It's Friday, three-day weekend. Uh, here in the States, we celebrate Veterans Day. Uh, today is the celebration. And I believe tomorrow is the actual day. Uh, where we remember and honor all of our military service members, past and present. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, today or yesterday was Remembrance Day in Canada. And I think tomorrow, maybe, is a Remembrance Day in the UK. Maybe. So either way, I think everybody's uh, going to be taking some time to remember their friends and family who served. And for all of those of you men and women out there who have served and are still serving, thank you for your service. I don't care what country you're in. If you took the time to enlist or were conscripted or however it works where you're from, if you put your uh, name on the dotted line and served your country, thank you very much. So yeah, this uh, this cream is pretty bog standard. It's um, it's got you know a fair amount of cushion. Fair amount of uh, slickness. Nothing to really write home about, in my opinion. But it's a nice shave. The blade is bog standard as well. Nothing fancy about it. It's uh, yeah, it's smooth enough, sharp enough. Seems to be working through the whiskers pretty efficiently. I don't ever know if, if I've ever used one of those blades in, uh, in a DE, to be quite honest. So here's one thing about this little experiment that um, may be a little skew on the data is I know that I'm trying to conserve water so I may subconsciously not rinse the razor as much as I normally would. <clears throat> so there is that. Hey, but either way, it's being a little bit more conscious about what we're doing, right? So yesterday, I think was a big shaving video day on YouTube, man. I saw... So a lot of guys put videos up yesterday. It was cool. So I watched, tried to watch as many of them as I could.
But you know, it's it's, uh, <laughs> it's tricky, man, when you got 10, 15, 20 guys. And you're trying to support their shaves. Or their YouTube channels, anyway. It's easy to get behind or spend a bunch of time in front of the computer screen. But it's cool. It's good to see everybody out there doing their thing and using their gear. And sharing tips and tricks and it's a good time man Also super cool to see some of these uh, <clears throat> new YouTubers trying to figure stuff out and watch their channels grow. You know, somebody mentioned it not too long ago, I don't remember where, but like the face of uh, the YouTube shaving channels changes. People get busy, things change, hobbies change. So guys who, you know, who've been shaving for a while, some of the guys they started watching and learning from aren't making videos anymore. But we're getting a whole new crop of uh, YouTubers out there, so it's exciting, man. It's cool to kind of support and uh, miss the spot, encourage each other. So it's good times. Ah, first pass. Not terrible. Yeah, the soap could be a little slicker, I think. Maybe I've gotten spoiled with uh, <coughs> some of the artists and stuff. I don't know. But the lather's holding up pretty well. Not quite as uh, dissipating as I had with the musk, but not quite as lasting. Scent's a little bit stronger <clears throat> now. Um, it's got a strong powder scent is what I'm picking up off of it. It's a nice clean scent. It really doesn't smell like the aftershave much. Um, maybe just a tad. But I think they will complement each other very well. Gosh, that's thick. You know, and even as long as I've been shaving, and I sound like I haven't been shaving forever, but it's been a couple years, I've noticed that as I watch. Some of the newer guys, they're doing stuff that I've never seen before and like, and I'm picking it up subconsciously. Like I remember I noticed the other day <coughs> after watching Frank Stromberg do a couple of shaves, he kind of does this to check the, uh, to check his soap, you know, he looks for the peaks. And uh, I noticed in one of my shaves the other day, I kind of started doing that without, without even thinking. It's a good, it's a good technique. So like I said, man, we uh, we never stop learning, we never stop picking up tips and tricks. So good on you, all the veterans, and good on you, all the new guys coming up. It's cool. All 
All right, second pass. So this V technique across the chin is something something new I'm trying I picked up from Frank Stromberg. He mentioned it in his video the other day. And uh, it's not bad. It worked pretty well. So cheers, Frank. That's a good tip. Yeah, I like that.
right, pass number two. In the books. So, still a little rough on the neck and the jawline. So, let's go for the inverted pass just to see what we can do. I am feeling a little irritation on the chin. Wasn't a lot of soap there at the end of that uh, pass, so that's on me. But everything's working really nicely. A little irritation on the chin, a little irritation on the mustache. Like I said, that's on me for uh, not keeping the soap where it needs to be. Just laid the blade into my neck back there. All right, I'm gonna call that good. A little irritation on the chin. I saw a weeper there. I'm gonna get rinsed off and then I'll show you how much water I got in the sink. Oh yeah, I definitely can feel. Feel some burning. Let's see what the old album has to say. Yeah, a little burning around the chin, expect that. bit on the neck. You know I've noticed and I don't know if that's soap or blade or technique but I have noticed that sometime with that classic samurai it's a little finicky for me about what blade I put in it. Um, some blades I get irritation with it some blades not so much but overall I'm happy with this shave. Um, no big bleeders Smooth enough. Uh, yeah, so that's a good shave in my opinion. Um, let me show you the water and then I'll do the after and all that stuff. So, pardon my hand. And so that's how much water I have in the sink. It was completely empty. We let it drain real quick. And show you what's... You'll be able to see from probably the uh, 
the stubble line how much water I used. So there you go. That's that. Um, we'll get you turned back around here. All right, so I think maybe I got that. Um, so you can see how much water I used in the shave. I don't know how that compares to what other people normally use. Um, probably it's more than I thought, and I honestly was probably being a little more conscious about not rinsing quite so often. So good point, Ronnie. It is definitely something I will take into consideration in future shaves. Um, I just don't know if I could get past the <laughs> the dunking my razor uh, in the uh, in the stubble water, you know. But it's definitely opened my eyes to a few things, give me something to consider. So thank you for that. Uh, let's see, what else can I say? Beautiful shave. It's the weekend. Most people are off. Uh, if you have a three-day weekend, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, Old Spice Aftershave. Beautiful. Classic. Uh, not the same scent I remember when I was a kid, but it's close. Aftershave. Uh, not Aftershave. Old Spice Original Cream. It works. Uh, nothing fancy, um, but it works. So now the Sailor Brush, made soap. Uh, made, so made bubbles on my face. Class samurai, classic Samurai, beautiful shavette. Wilkinson Sword Blade, me. Was it me, was it the blade? I don't know. I got a little bit of irritation. Could have been a bunch of different things. Beautiful shave. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for spending 20, 30 minutes with me as I scrape my face. Enjoy your weekend. And uh, I hope you get a chance to spend some time with your friends and family because that is the most important thing. Once again, to all the veterans out there, um, thank you for your service. Whichever country you fought for, um, thank you for serving. Have a good night. I'll catch you on the next video. Later.